Right, you can speak now. That's a very big thing. <laughs> okay. Behave. Oh, behave. Uh, take two. Go. Good morning. It is a sunny day and it is van day. Day and <laughs> It's Wednesday, the 5th of April, 2017. This is day 18 on our van build. The sun's out for us today and we're really excited to have a full day of making our cupboard doors and um, experimenting with paint techniques, I think, too. I'd just like to thank everyone who watches our videos uh, for helping us pass our first little milestone of 100 uh, 100. Subs subscribers. So this is probably the best day weather-wise we've had. Um, if you look back at our first videos, they're all yeah. grey and gloomy. And, and we're in like hats and gloves. Hats and gloves, but it's... I reckon later on this afternoon it will be t-shirt weather in April. Yeah, yeah. see it's only 10 o'clock, but um, we're out earlier than normal because we've got a full day. We've got light until about 8 o'clock. Um, but yeah, let's start. This is furniture making part two, I reckon. Let's go. I'm just marking up the are pieces of wood uh, ready to um, saw off, really. Oh, God, that's bright. Safety first. Um, we're cutting our first proper piece, aren't we? Yeah. First of about nine. So, fingers crossed. Hopefully, don't lose any fingers. Fingers off. <laughs> fingers off, yeah. <laughs> so, here we go. Uh, so now I'm going to do some paint testers on the offcuts of wood. Um, I'm going to be using um, Annie Sloan chalk paint. I've been using this for years. They've been in the cupboard for a while as well, so not spending any extra money. Um, really recommend this because it's just really easy to use. You don't really have to sand anything down before you use it, especially in this case where I've got a really rough textured piece of uh, our pallet wood, which I'm going to paint and then sand down a lot so you can barely see the paint and hopefully it'll just sit in with the grain of the wood. So while the test pieces are drying in the sun, we're going to mark up where we're going to put our uh, good cuts to make the doors for the cupboard. So we're going to choose an order and placings for our good cuts of wood and hopefully they shall fit perfectly. Uh, when we briefly tested this out before they did, it took about nine pieces, didn't it? Yeah, about nine pieces. To uh, cover the, the front of the uh, unit, so hopefully they'll do the job. Um, so this is our basic of figuring out which way we want the wood to go. Layout. The problem we had was that us, we needed one to be bang on in the middle and we don't have any real tool apart from the circular saw. Kind of yeah. Straight line. Jigsaw would be wonky. So our, <laughs> our way around this was we found one of our planks to be sort of split down the middle. So with the use of a hammer. Um, it split very organically. Yeah. And then we sanded it, which has got a really nice little curve. I think we should do that a little bit more. Yeah, as well. round off the edges. Yeah. So this will be our sort of centre of the cupboard. We're probably going to use rope or something similar. Yeah. Maybe use these existing screw holes to place some rope through the uh, through the wood. Yeah. But this will be basically it. The lighter ones uh, will be the ones we paint most likely, and we'll leave the darker ones. And we're going to leave it quite rough. Obviously, take off most things that will potentially give us a, what do you call it? Splinter. Splinter. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I think it's looking quite that good. That is really lovely. Yeah. Right then, we've got a first today. This is our kettle that we had as a Christmas gift from my sister. So shout out to Harriet Bratt. Uh, beautiful grey kettle. I think it's going to go perfectly with the furniture. It's as, if we, it's as if we planned it. Thank you okay. so much, Harriet. So it's going to be our first ever use and our first cup of tea that we've boiled. Wow, first 
cat will be foiled. Make a minute away. <laughs> yeah, so I am doing it in the van uh, just because it's a bit blustery at times, but it's well ventilated and uh, thinking about safety first. Um, we're also going to have some soup afterwards. We've been thinking of uh, things to do and more videos to make. So, by trade, I'm a chef in real life, not van life. And I think I'm going to be doing some outdoors cooking, um, which would be quite interesting. But don't judge, I've bought soup today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is Chef Hines. So I like to do more cooking on like barbecues and open fires and stuff. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. I'm going to go over this piece of blue wood with the big daddy sander Stop. <laughs> uh, and see what kind of effect we have. I've never done it really before, it's normally by hand I do it, so I've never done it before with a power tool. So another bit of furniture that we're going to put in the van, which we've only just thought of really, is this piece. I've had this for quite a few years, probably about five. Um, it wasn't my mum's house, but now it's no longer. It's for the van. Too much info. Um, and we're going to add aspects of pallet wood to it. And I'm also going to paint it the same grey base layer as the big shelving unit that we're doing at the same time. Make some new doors for it and hopefully have the same ra uh, rope. Um, have the same rope. <laughs> <laughs> Same rope opening <sighs> handles. <laughs> hey. We have tested a few different paint techniques out. And I think we've chosen this one, haven't we, to include in our design. Turned out the best. Yeah. Uh, we've even nipped to Ludlow uh, to pick up the dark wax to use, which makes it more distressed, looks more antique -y. So I think with this one, that one, and that one. So three out of our 12 boards boards will be slightly more colourful to sort of tie in with this and tie in with the rest of the van, hopefully the, yeah. the grand... I think it could be our little signature, our signature block. Yeah. yeah, hopefully, but no, it's all gone well. Quite simplistic, we're just going to have to paint them blue, let it dry, sand it down and then dark wax. Yeah. That's pretty much it, straightforward. And um, I know, I think the effect looks pretty good. I'm happy with that so far. Then we'll crack on with that. Um, this is a sneak preview of what we'll be achieving tomorrow. Yep, this is the rehashed... Let's just, let's just call it Rupert the Bear cupboard. <laughs> this is Rupert the Bear cupboard door. Um, yeah, so we... It's underneath, there's a template. Yeah, so this is the new pallet wood door which we weren't intending to do at all. but. Um, with getting newfound confidence in using the circular saw and the sanders and not being not being too worried about taking the colour off the wood as one of the really yeah. nice grey colours. Um, we're quite happy with it. So the pallet wood's come out quite nice even with quite a rough sandpaper really so the chance of it snagging our clothes has been reduced hopefully it's quite nice. And we're yeah. really I'm really happy and quite pleased and quite shocked really at how well it's come out. As long as we fit it all and get it all straight tomorrow we're going to be very happy. Yeah hopefully we'll have most of the, these furniture pieces finished, I guess, by tomorrow, if all goes well. And I think you're going to be impressed too, and that's the main thing. Yeah, maybe. I think we've outshone our house. So far, but there's a long way to go. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching the video. Uh, Look out for the next one. Yeah. Should be tomorrow. As always, you can subscribe somewhere here. Uh, we'll link to the next video or a playlist somewhere around here. 
And um, yeah, like the video, subscribe and all that stuff. Comment too, please. Comment too, yeah. And if you know. And we'll see you quite soon. Um,